Welcome to the Warts and All podcast with Dr. Susie Edge. This is episode one. Whatever you do, don't lick the rat. Shall we open up another coffin? Because you're going to love this one. After he chopped off the head of King Charles I and became Lord Protector, Oliver Cromwell commissioned portrait painter Sir Peter Lely to record his likeness. Lely had painted Charles I while the king's head was still attached to his body, and the style of the time was one of flattery for the sitter. We'll have none of that, thought Oliver Cromwell, and he instructed Lely to paint him warts and all. No, he probably didn't really say it, but the story lives on and it's a good one. And right here, we're all about stories of the history of our human bodies. I'm Susie Edge, medical doctor and historian, and this podcast is for anyone like me with a slightly gruesome fascination for how we treated our bodies in life and in death. It all started over on TikTok, where we've been witnessing the deaths of kings, coffin openings, missing heads, uses for human body parts. Welcome to my podcast, Warts and All, where we get a chance to talk for slightly longer than 60 seconds and linger on the gruesome. It's early 2021. We've all had a pretty rough time of it. It's snowing outside. I've got the fire lit. You can probably hear it. So grab yourselves a wee dram and we're just going to have a good wee chat. But remember, it's all just for fun. And I think we all need a little bit of that right now. Coming up in the first podcast, we're going to talk about the death of William I, William the Conqueror. That's a really stinky one. So bring your nose pegs. I know this was a trailer, but we can't just leave it there. Shall we open up a coffin? One of my favourite coffin opening stories was William Longspay. William Longspay was the Earl of Salisbury. He was the illegitimate son of Henry II, and he fought beside his half-brother Richard the Lionheart in France. In 1199, when Richard succumbed to an injury from a crossbow bolt that went nasty and gangrenous, Longspay returned to England... There he sided with his half-brother, the now King John. It was hundreds of years ago, so we're not going to hold a grudge against him for siding with the nasty King John. But somebody did. When Longspay's time was up, and he died in the year 1226, there was a suggestion of foul play. It was suggested that he'd been poisoned, but of course nobody could prove it. He was the first person to be buried at the wonderful Salisbury Cathedral. It wasn't the last person to be poisoned in Salisbury. It's got form, that city. In 1791, his tomb was opened up by a chap called Wyatt, and he found the mummified remains of a black rat inside Longspay's skull. The rat was really well preserved, and it was kept. Years later, it was analysed, and traces of arsenic were found. But how did Ratty get in there? Longspay was not buried in the ground, but he was interred in a vault in the cathedral. So along comes Ratty Rattus, and he smells something tasty. Now he starts to nibble on the rotting earl, the tasty fatty bits that make up the spinal cord that led him maybe to the brainstem, up through the foramen magnum and into his brain, where he munches down on brain chow and he sips on eye juices. But then Ratty starts to feel unwell. What's happening to me, he thinks I'm done for. Much like his lunch once said just before his heart stopped. Ratty died right there inside Longspay's skull and was found preserved there in 1791. Ratty's now on display at the museum in Salisbury. It's a lovely place to visit. The museum's great. It's near the cathedral. It's so worth a trip. Say hi to Ratty for me, but whatever you do... Don't lick the rat. So that's it for this week. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for listening. A lot of people have requested I start a podcast and there will be teething problems. So um, we'll see how it goes for now. I will get this onto YouTube as well. I'll do personal, uh, in-person rather, videos on YouTube in time. But you can hear the podcast on there if that's where you prefer to hear it. Please do subscribe to that channel as well. And you can find me on TikTok at Edge & Co and on Instagram at suze.edge. I'm going to keep it really simple and put the show notes onto the Instagram page at suze.edge. I might make them all the same name one day. You never know. Anyway, thanks again. See you soon.